Boop, boop. Boom! Shakalaka laka boom. Hi, everybody, and welcome to a special new Monday night show where we are spoiling the Big Brother Canada feeds for you all. Because if, look, if you don't want to be spoiled, just leave right now. Just go. Actually, don't go yet. Because <laughs> while this is a Big Brother spoiler show, we're really going to spend most of the time talking about last night's episode, just because that was like four days worth of stuff that went down. Then at the end of the episode, like the last 10 or 15 minutes or so, I'm going to bring on XOXO Feedsters and, uh, with us, and she's going to tell us what's been going on in the feed. So that's going to be like the real spoiler spoiler release spoiler but look it's a spoiler show so if something gets spoiled sooner i apologize you should go now but i love you don't leave me okay aside from that <laughs> you guys know the deal if you are uh watching or listening to this back in itunes five star rating and a nice review youtube you can click on these buttons thumbs up and subscribe i have decided i am not going to pimp patron for our last two weeks of trying to get to canada i'm just going to keep it simple stupid with Forget about the long-term goals. We got short-term goals, and it is to get to Canada to live stream the finale to all of you. So you can go to yourrealityrecaps.com slash Canada, make a donation for whatever amount you want. It'll allow us to stream the finale to you guys live. Um, uh, I mean, not the finale, the backyard interviews, where we'll take your questions and you can get a prize from that too. Red carpet. Dane and I in a hotel room. I'm sure there'll be tons of shit going on, is what I'm saying. Oh, by the way, we'll probably say shit on this show. So, not safe for work either. Am I remembering everything? I don't know. Let me... <laughs> I was going to bring up the person who muted her phone a moment ago, but apparently she didn't. Here she is now, though. It's... Oh, wrong overlay. Dana! <laughs> you like that dive? And you're lucky I was one second away from dive bombing it. I mean, oh click God. bombing it. <laughs> so, I hit the mute button, I swear to God. Oh, well, who was it? Who was I it called? I didn't know. I didn't even look at the call display. I just hit the mute button. Well, Dana, I know we have a ton to talk about from last night's show. However, before we do that, and we don't want to give anything away, you all have to go and listen to it for yourselves. However, Dana did talk to LaVita just a few little hours ago. Super and, sweet, super sweet girl. And long, like long. Yeah, she talked a, she talked a long time. And Sherry Blackberry, we picked your question to ask her. So when you listen to it back, um, she answers your question. So that is available right now at yourallergycaps.com slash bbcan. Or on iTunes or YouTube, but watch it on our website. <laughs> Dana, how are you doing? I'm good. I got sleep today. Five and a half hours of sleep. That, that's a lot for me, people. That is. That is yeah. a lot. It is a lot. I think we all just couldn't handle everything that they crushed in to the episode of Big Brother last night. Uh, I was I was angry. People that follow me on Twitter, they know. <laughs> I was, I was flipping tables. I pulled out the gif of Teresa Judice flipping the table as I'm mad I was. Yeah, it if was. If I could do that in real life, I'd be so happy. Now, chat room, this is different than our normal show. This is different. This is like a spoilerly show. And you guys are all part of it. So if there are things that you want to talk about from the feeds, if there are things that you want to talk about from the show, you just put them in the little chat room and we will make it part of the conversation. This is like a summary, you know, Big Brother spoiler, every, nothing is off limits. Uh, Giselle, I don't know if I could handle 90 minutes. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> oh my God, I wanted 90 minutes last night. That was too fast, way too fast. It was fast, but I was so mad that if I had if I had to watch more of it, I probably would have like 
All right. Well, we're not going in order because we're not really recapping. We're talking about everything. So why don't go ahead? What are you mad about? Like, I'm mad at everything. Know. First, I'm mad at Kelsey going back in the house. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand how someone who sat there and preached unbreakable bonds, unbreakable bonds, unbreakable bonds got back in that house. Why would you not take the girl who's like, I'm open to new ideas. I'm willing to work with anybody. Use me. Use me. Use me, person. Like, I don't, other than Jared and Raul, I don't understand the thinking of the other people in the house. Why bring that back in? You're never going to infiltrate that third wheel alliance ever, ever in your lifetime. Like, <sighs> because, I mean, I don't know why. Unfortunately, that's the good shit we could have seen on the feeds that were off for four days, like the thought process behind it and a lot of the fun stuff. But they were like, no, nah, we're not going to let you know. Oh, and, and Jared, too. Don't get me started on Jared and the... Lavita has scarred us. Scarred us. Deep. What did she do? What, like, I guess she was a messy HOH. Like, I I get that. But she it wasn't like she was around there, like, being a tyrant and being totally awful to everybody in the house. Like, I don't... Like, if that scarred you, I don't know. I, I don't know. I... You know, if you're going to be the angry one, I can't be angry. <laughs> so bad. Uh, Rockstay9670 says, uh, I cried. I couldn't, I started crying when Kelsey came back in. Happy tears. I know, Rockstay. I know. I'll have you know I'm being, I'm tone, I'm scaling back my Kelsey hatred on Twitter because I don't want to piss her off and make her not come on for you. So I hope you appreciate it. I'm scaling back my hatred for that walking STD. So, um, look. I know why she brought back, okay? This is a cast of 20-something kids who are there to have a good time. They thought, hmm, Kelsey, who we can have a good time with, or Levita, who's going to be, like, a gamer. Like, that's that's why she got there. And, like, Jared and Raul were never going to budge, and that whole house just plays to Jared. Like, Cassandra was going to vote, I think, until Maddie's speech and said, my ass was grass. Mm-hmm. Cassandra would have voted for for um, Maddie to stay. Right. So everyone is just doing what Jared wants because no one wants to anger the golden boy of Big Brother Canada 4. So that's why she's there. Like, I don't think this was a unanimous vote. I think this was just, we don't want to argue about it any longer. Give Jared my... <clears throat> Giselle says they should have showed the whole house the family packages Levita would have been in because Kelsey's a fembot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. They're all like the Stepford wives. That that whole family. That whole family is just uh, I don't I don't get any of that. I mean I love them because you know, I have to. Um I don't hate Kelsey as a person. No, me neither. Just, in a game that I want to be interesting, I don't find Kelsey interesting in a game perspective. That's all it is. I don't hate her. Raul on the other end right now. Raul, I wanna burn your fucking jacket. I'm sorry. I started this show off already. Look, there's just going to be cursing. I am also angry at Raul. I don't know what you're doing. I forget who said this to me um, in chat room. You tell me if it's you. I want to say maybe it was Sherry Blackberry, but I think that might just be because of the Levita question. But Giselle. somebody told me that um, uh, Kelsey told rail already about like uh the whole joel thing i i'm totally messing it up now basically uh, rail has no reason to be mad at mitch is my oh. point on the feeds he already knew he already knew that mitch was working both sides that was just alcohol talking last night yeah i don't i don't know and even if it wasn't common knowledge mitch voted out Levita. Mitch was working for their side. Mm -hmm. So it's not like Mitch actually did anything to screw over the third wheel. He actually did things to help them. Right. So what are you so pissed off about? Like, I just... Imagine I if you I... were a normal sized person, Dana. Imagine <laughs> if you were a normal sized person. And I don't mean that you're not normal. I'm just saying in general. Pretend now that imagine you're a normal sized person and you're probably cold a lot. Like I think it is cold there in Canada. I am cold a lot, Eric. Okay. So so everyone <laughs> is pretending right now. 
Everyone is pretending they are a normal person in Canada who is cold. And then you have to put on a jacket that got caught in a fucking shredder, oh. which is why you're probably cold all the time and make stupid decisions, Rail. I tweeted about that jacket. I was like, does he know their sleeves for a reason? Like, why aren't we using our sleeves? It's a half coat, and he doesn't even use the sleeves. I'm with you. I'm on your page. And let me just go back to that competition for one second, too. And, oh, now, wait, because I want to know what the chat room thinks of this. I honestly thought this was amazing. I know some people felt like maybe it wasn't fair. Um... I love this whole, there's an HOH and there's three different different types of challenges and you get to pick which one you want to compete in. Did chat room, did you guys like that? Did you like that they, in the battle for HOH, they had to basically decide, run on a treadmill, do a survivor type, balance the ball on the disc, or balance the sword on your head? Did you like that, Dana? Uh, I didn't mind it. They did it, actually, they actually did a... A version of this last year they did so yeah um last year it was much harder and much more grueling actually but um yeah i like i didn't mind it and i think it was randomly drawn who did what because they had to have oh i thought the, they got to pick it said um not at first i don't think because i mean that was a from what i heard that was a big build from well, let's show this. Hold on. Let's show our little, so just so people know what we're talking about. So here was Tim. He was the host. He was like Zeus or some shit. And that's um, how he did not do many favors. No. And then they were all little Greeky people. And then that was like the balancing of the swords. And then you can also see like running on the treadmill, pushing lots of Greek words. Thitsophies, Sisyphes, yeah. Zeus, Mylanta, whatever. <laughs> Um, it was random at first. Yeah, uh, because they had, I mean, especially for that sword challenge, they had to have <gasps> those platforms for height, right? You couldn't just put anybody oh. in there. And that was a big build. Like, Trevor Trevor said that build took a few days to make, so they weren't... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Because cause there was just so much crammed into that time. So wait, wasn't it, it's coming back to me, chat room confirm, wasn't it... They all got placed somewhere, and then after a certain amount of time, wasn't Tim like, does anyone want to change? Yeah, they could switch. Okay, so that's where I was getting that. I don't know how anybody would switch to the sword, though, because of the height difference. I don't understand the way this, the, the sword one works, if we're being, if I'm being honest. Let's go back and look at that, because... You bounced it on the top of your head between that thing on the top, so... You so how to... is that hard? If you move in that sword goes just keep uh, just base does this look there are people that probably like some snm that would do that but it's just like stand on your tippy toes you just got to push the pressure up i don't get what's so hard about that Maybe. but i bet the i bet the sword handle is not flat so you're on a rounded you've probably got like i mean your head is round and you got a rounded sword so i'm assuming there's a little bit and standing still mm-hmm Plus putting, like you said, having to put all that pressure up and stand still. Because if you move your head and the, yeah. the handle of the sword is rounded. And, you know what I mean? Oh, we... Now, I would like to put out already because I know we are not looking good at the moment, not knowing this information. <laughs> this is not our recap show, everyone. This is our spoiler show. <laughs> if we were recapping, we would have the answers. Okay, Social Mari has it. She says you could only switch after a certain amount of time if someone agreed to yeah. switch with you and no one agreed to switch okay yeah cassandra wanted to switch but she's like no one's making eye contact with me so i know it ain't happening wasn't cassandra in the sword yeah well was how like, is she gonna turn her head to look at anybody <laughs> she's like no one's making eye contact with me but i have a sword <laughs> on my head so well, i can't look at that point everybody could stand down like everybody could stop oh okay they were doing remember so i don't <laughs> I, know. I remember being angry. Yeah. I remember trying to screen grab it. I remember being like, can we just slow down? I'm like, can we have more dialogue? Because everything is just going way too fast. And I need more dialogue into what these people are thinking because nothing is making sense. But I knew that uh, right from the start of the episode, I was like, this is not good. If Kelsey is coming in, they're getting drinks right off the bat this is not going to be good and it wasn't and like trying to control rail was bad like 
Tim, like, bashing, I think, Nikki into, like, the wall. Like, I don't know, a little <laughs> sex shit they were doing. The, these two, Monkey Brother making out with Nikki. I was like... Just there's, jealous. There is... Oh, I'm very jealous. There was just too much to process. <laughs> and then there was... I mean, what did you think of Jared and Raul in the pantry? Like, Jared went a little nuts when he was, like, making... Like, I mean, we all know I'm not a fan of rail right now, but, I mean calm down jared like it's a game like you don't need to make the guy cry <laughs> and what mm. did you think of crying rail was crying crying rail or crying ramsey what would you prefer um this is a hard-hitting question folks i'm gonna go with ramsey because at least i can say rail's gay <laughs> i don't want to go after the gay for crying <laughs> I don't know. I have to pick something because I don't like him because he makes stupid moves. And here's the other stupid ass thing. You, I am all for twists. And I tweeted this out earlier today. I am all for twists. A twist is great. But a twist does not involve exposing your game to other players in the game. Like, your game should always be... Um, your game. There can be things in like thrown at you, like a power that could affect your game, or so. But it should or never. Or bringing one back, just without having. Or the... bringing one back is fine. Nobody should be able to watch what you are doing, hear things you are saying on some fucking spy camera on a social game. I just don't feel they should. I don't think it's fair. And you fucking put back in slut whore bag. I mean, really nice girl with morals. Oh, that dress and the boobs. I'm like, oh, like, like <sighs> Kelsey, like her DRs. I was like, do you, do you see, do you see, do you see this? Like your boobs are out. Your boobs are out, girl. Mm -hmm. They're out. Like, mm -hmm. out. <laughs> Come back in. Yeah, we put back in a showmance in order to get rid of basically one of the only few people that are actually playing the game. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. I, I will never understand it. I can ask every single person in that house what your thought process was, and they can explain it to me till they're blue in the face, and I will never get it. I will never, ever, ever understand this. It's simple. Kelsey's fun. Like, I don't fun. understand. Like Tim and Mitch were the only two that were like. I mean, Tim. I wouldn't was say like, the only two. Joel was a little gamey. Well, I mean, Joel wanted her back in, but he wasn't making any good arguments, arguments as to why. why. Like, yeah. Tim, Tim was, was the only one that was like, "We voted her out for unbreakable bonds, people. Why would we bring her back in?" Mm -hmm. And Mitch was like, "You're gonna, we're gonna regret it. Like, yeah, she's gonna be fun, and yeah, like it'll be nice to have her back in the house, but." Mark my words, we're gonna regret it. And 24 hours later, they're like, "Oh my god, why did we bring Kelsey back?" Like. Mm hmm Mitch was right. I'm just like, I can't. Mitch was right. Sorry, my you now chat room is being weird. I'm trying to block people, but it's like not letting me for some reason. Um, bringing her back is isn't changing the game, says Rosie P. Well, I don't know how how you could say that, Rosie P, because Mitch went from nobody knowing that he was playing both sides to being nominated. Sounds like it changed the game to me. Yeah. Joel got scared. Yes, he did. They regretted getting rid of Dallas and now Levita. Mm, I don't know about that. XOXO Feedster says, I wonder how long that deliberation actually took. Well, let me let you in. Let me let you know this. We have to figure out a way to ask that question on Friday, Dana. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um... Well, um, here, I'll say maybe, uh, we can ask them, like, uh, oops, hold on, sorry, maybe, oh my god, wait, Dana, I apologize for this, this is kind of funny, look, Dana turned into a mutant, okay, uh, you're back, sorry, I clicked <laughs> the wrong button, um, we have to figure out a way to ask that question. I'm wondering if I get to the live show, because during the live show um and what you're gonna scream it out when no, is no, no. talking the, the executive producer like in the breaks and stuff like that will do like a like question and answers and stuff like that i wonder if i oh the problem I... isn't us getting the answer <laughs> the problem is how we can get give them the answer you know what i'm saying because it wasn't shown on tv True. so we'll work on it that's what mondays are for 
that's what Mondays are for. I mean, maybe I'll just have to have some chapstick available. Yeah. And I'll start guessing times. Yeah, I, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I don't think it was, honestly, I don't know if it was, a, I think they probably gave them a time limit and said you got like an hour. Because, Could have I been don't anything. know. Um, it, normally after a show, Arissa and Peter and Sarah and whoever the guest from previous season was on the sideshow go out front and do like a meet and greet and take pictures. And that was canceled this week because... Arissa had to go back and do her thing. Right. And they were in a a pretty big hurry to clear us out of the audience, which they normally aren't in a big hurry for that kind of thing. Like So you're saying you think basically it probably happened like right after. Yeah, like I'm thinking they probably gave them half hour, forty five minutes, maybe an hour to to deliberate, and then like as soon as we were out of the studio Arissa was like, hey, I need you to yeah, I mean, she's not going to wait around all day. Exactly. She's I not mean, going to be like, oh, I've got nothing else to do. Like, what are they going to do? Like, hold her up in the secret suite with Levita and Kelsey for the week? Like, right. until they make a decision? I don't, I don't think so. I love how Kelsey is already planning on who she is going to nominate when she wins HOH, says Tracy Lara. Well, we'll she get was there. Jared. We'll get there. We'll get there. I, what did you think on this episode about um, Jared going after Raul? You know, seeing him being all like, you know, you can't say anything and getting in his face and, you know, uh, hit, um, Rail being like, Kelsey, you tell me. You tell me what the secret is right now or I'm going to go tell him because he's my best friend and blah, 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 blah. And then it just got worse. I swear to God, I thought Jared was going to punch him. I, honestly, I was like, please punch him so that you get to go home, and then this isn't a problem. He, but Jared's I, been, been doing, doing that, that like, like last, last week. It was, was with Cassandra. Cassandra. He's, He's like, like, if you vote, vote to keep, keep um, um, Dallas, then you're dead to me, and you don't want to be dead to me. Like, mm-hmm. and now it's with Raul, and I'm just like, I he's out of control. Like his his ego is bigger than the house. Like I don't know how they're gonna get him out the door with the ego. He's, with the ego he's got going, but he, I think, I mean... They let you guys, they let your ca- Canada get a little more, I mean, i saying physical, but that's kind of a strong word. I just feel like your version of Big Brother gets away with more stuff than, like, our version gets away with. Like, I don't know. I'm not explaining correctly, but it's just... To be honest, this is probably the most physical anybody's been with anybody really in like in anger yeah mm-hmm. like i mean they joke around and like play wrestle or whatever but like in anger anger this is probably the most yeah physical i've seen anybody in four seasons get like it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with him as time goes on and they're in power yeah and they're in power. So I am sure there is a lot. Uh... BB Boston says we're allowed to have knives. That's right. We are. We can have knives. Because we haven't had anybody pull a knife on, each, on somebody yet. So, But we have. Well, you have knives? But they're not real knives. You have plastic knives. No, they have like butter knives. And... Really? Yeah. I would not give those people knives. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't. Oh, thanks. That's says the latte. Um, the jackpot is going off time. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what you mean if you mean jackpot noise, but I don't know what yeah. you mean by it's going off time. It's probably going off now. Gotcha. Um, we still don't know what the jackpot noise is. Cassandra is going to lose the knives for house guests. Oh, I did see Cassandra going like, rah, 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 with the knife after people. So, yeah, it seems like she might lose it. Um, oh, chef knives, too, says Virgo Baker. Yeah, because, I mean, they cut. Yeah, I've seen them, cut, like, cut stuff. Yeah, they, you, our big brother has to do everything with the stupid fake knives. So, like... I also, the U.S. can't have nice things. It's right, Jessica. The U.S. does not get to have nice things. <laughs> I also like how Jared was not smart enough to know that when you're in a house, uh, you shouldn't be, like, screaming on the other side of the thin little door about who you're going to nominate yeah. and wh- what you're Mitch, going to do. Mitch, Mitch on, on the, the outside, outside of the door, door was great. 
Like, I, I loved Mitch spying, and I hear. Uh, well, maybe we'll talk about that more in a little bit. Um, but I hear he prom. I'll say he promises to make things interesting if he really goes. Oh, he was. I mean, he got a little crazy on the feeds last night. From what I like, from what I was reading at work, he 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 was saying some stuff to Raul that was like, oh, bitch, like. I don't want to say until we get to the like the spoiler, spoiler, spoiler part of it, but well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Mitch. I was watching the feeds late one night, probably like two ish weeks ago, and Mitch was kind of making it clear that um his motivation for his alliance with Rail has more to do with let's say his image than actually wanting to work with Rail. In other words, he wanted to work with the gay because he is also gay, and it would maybe perhaps look bad uh, if he did not work with the gay. So I don't really think that Mitch... Um, likes Rail that much. Likes Rail that well, much. Well, that's kind of what he was kind of saying last night. He was like, how upset would you be if you got out of the house and I had more followers than you, which clearly Mitch... Already has more followers. Wait, Raul, Raul said that to Mitch. No, Mitch was saying it to Raul. Like oh. how, like how mad would you be? He's like, oh, I wouldn't be mad because I'm going to be famous anyways. Because like, I mean, he's got no idea about Mitch's real job, right? So, and then he was like, yeah, he's like, I love the people in my life more than you, so I don't think we're going to be friends when this show is over. And I was like, that, that was hard. <laughs> like poor Raul is just getting killed from. All of his best friends. Like, just Kelsey just needs to put a knife in his back and he's, he'll be toast. Uh, like, I get it. Oh, thanks, Zivon. I like, um... I like Mitch playing the game. I don't even mind that Mitch did that. Um, it's a game, and you can make whatever moves you want for whatever reason you want. Ooh, but if Mitch is doing the, like, I'm a social media mogul game... He's not, because he hasn't told anybody. He's just mm. kind of Didn't alluding. he? I don't Did... think he's told anybody yet. Well, if I mean, if he's saying that to Raul of, uh, you're going to care if I have more Twitter followers than you, then I don't know. I don't know. Should we tell Giselle who won the veto? Sure. I mean, we're almost at uh, 7.30, so I would say from like 7.30 on, we're really going to start interjecting more things that yeah, are a Jared, lot more spread. Jared won the veto, Giselle, and he didn't use it. And yes. That was my one, like, clinging thing. Like, I was like, okay, Rail, if we convince Jared to use the, the veto and we take down Mitch and we put up anybody, I don't care who you put up, don't care put anybody up mm -hmm. we could be friends we can we can squash all my anger and we can still be friends if mitch can come off the block and no nope. but yeah no he didn't do it and i'm like because mitch is gonna go home because nobody has a beef with joel mm -hmm. like if people were smart they would vote joel out because joel if he gets to the end of the game like a steve has no enemies really besides... i like joel but he needs to go yeah but like, Mitch is going to go. I mean, Joel's done such a good job at pulling on the heartstrings, like, using, like, his real-life challenges to his advantage and, like, playing up the I'm a naive nerd kind of thing. So he's he'll ha he'll take away the $100,000 if, if he gets a chance to get there. So And he's an actor, so I don't know if I'm buying that. Exactly. That's what I've said all along. But if he, if he makes it to that point he's gonna walk away with it like i love joel but right we'll see what happens the get rid of the yeah. nerd says love and kindness i agree <laughs> tim might be the saving grace for mitch you were saying that dana that tim was trying to work the yeah. other players today he was he was he was doing some work but then again he also said that if like the vote were to come right now he would vote mitch out of the house so it's not looking great I say it's not looking great for somebody else, and it's not just Mitch. Do you know who else it's not looking great for? Yeah. You. Because oh, yeah. if Mitch goes, uh, Dana, uh, you got basically Maddie left. And Nikki. 
You got Maddie and Nikki, so good luck. Yeah. I'm good luck. Happy. You almost had a queen you almost you're almost gonna have a clean sweep. Yeah. Team Vagina and Mitch isn't working out so well in my favor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, but who knows? Mitch oh, the chat room slide. Oh, Big Zilla says, yeah, but who knows? Mitch goes, he is all if Mitch goes, he is all Nikki has. True true what was the pov comp uh we don't know yet i don't, I don't yeah no one's i haven't heard anyone mention it so all i know is my favorite part of the zeus comp which also also incorporates how i felt about last night's competition and I'm sorry, but has to be scripted, was Nikki falling asleep in <laughs> the um, fog and then waking up coughing and basically looked to me like vomiting. But no, our little Nikki was just coughing. But there's just no way. There is no way she fell asleep on the ground and then production was like, you know what? Let's start gassing her. <laughs> no, they're probably like, please hold mute. Nikki, you know what would go really good with the your fucking batshit crazy edit? Is if you just like wake up in the middle of the fog. It'll be real funny. Okay, you ready? Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's a little nuts. I could see her falling asleep if she wanted to. What's with her hugging the pole? I couldn't grab... A... The only thing I hate about it not being on my TiVo is I can't, like, pause and rewind. But what was her, like, holding on to the pole when she's like, No, I don't want to make Joel have not... And she's, like, holding on to the pillar. Like, you are <laughs> fucking insane. She is. I, I wish Raylan would put her on slop. She's like, no, don't do it, Ron. I can't. But, she's, but. She's great. What I did forget to say was, if you guys want uh, up to the minute uh, spoilers, not spoilers, but like information on what's going on in the house, here is the cheat sheet that is on our website, except right down, wait, where are my fingers? La la la, here, right here where my fingers are on the website uh, is where there's a little link for the spoiler. So if you want the spoiler version, which would show you that Jared won the POV, you can click that. So in other words, don't worry, nothing will be spoiled, but we have... Uh, up to the minute information over there as well. I feel like there was oh there was there is everyone who's asking for a prize. Dana. I was like, there's one other thing I thought we wanted to tell people. Okay. Oh, yes. So here's the thing. Um if you guys go to the Canada uh website, which we can all get to, I believe. Yeah, big brother Canada.ca well, that's not it. Big Brother Canada CA. Let's see if I can pull it up. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm just not getting to the right one. I got it. Okay, now I just got to find out where it is. What it's like right on their homepage. It's right on their homepage. Okay, so hold on. Because I'm going to give away a prize to people. I'm going to tell you how we're going to do it. Uh, Make a meme. Okay. So here's the deal, everybody. If you go to the Big Brother Canada website, you, there's a section where it says, make a meme. Oh, wait, let me scroll up. See, make a meme. And then you scroll down. You can go through, you can pick a photo that you want. You can add your text to your photo to make your meme. And then you can enter a screen name. Now, here's the deal. I'm very busy, as you all know. Dana is very busy, as you all know. We are trying to pump out all this content for you. So here's the deal. We need you to submit on our behalf. <laughs> <laughs> so it cannot be dirty. I will not give a prize if it is dirty. It has to be funny and smart, but you can't curse, be disgusting or anything, because I will deny it. 
Uh, but if yours gets put on the screen and I am not doing it, Dana is not doing it, so it will only come from a fan, and you show us that you made it, you will win a Big Brother Canada prize. So if it makes it to the show, is what I'm saying, you will win a prize. We're outsourcing this. We're outsourcing <laughs> one job. <laughs> Just one job. Just one job. We're outsourcing. I, I tried all day to do it, but we had the Levita interview and this show and too much was happening. And I think it only lasts like two days. I think it's over by the next show. Um, so get on that if you want. Anybody can do it. I tried to get Eric to do it. I really want him to do one for the, the Jared and Dallas Competition I thing. will try and do it, but as we know, I haven't had a second to even do it yet. Eric's today. so funny, so that's why I wouldn't do it. I'm like, I, mine wouldn't be funny. Mine would just be like, uh, but Eric. Eric could do Leslie it. E wants to know if she can follow you on Twitter. Leslie Absolutely. E. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't need permission. You can follow anybody. That's the way more Twitter works. More followers, the better. I'm almost at 900 people. I need like 60 more. God, if people had to ask me if they could follow, my life would be so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> the same Facebook people. Yeah. Um, so let's go back because we have other things. We have other things we need to talk about too um, from last night's episode. I want to know. And I'm sorry, I know I slightly asked this a minute ago and I wasn't really paying attention because there was too many things. So let me break it to you down this way. Chat room, number one, if you think Rail made the correct nominations. Number two, if you think Rail made the incorrect nominations. Dana, we know you think he did not. So who do you think he should have put up? Oh, anybody else. Who? <laughs> Jared, I'm like, if that was me, like, R Raul hasn't realized that his place in the alliance at this point is to shut up and put up. Mm -hmm. And I would think that the tongue lashing that Jared gave him the day before would have opened his eyes a little bit to the fact that that's kind of his role. My role is to put up and shut up. Kelsey has a little bit more, in, like, more input into it, but... Not a lot more. So I would be like, you know what? I think I could probably work with some other people in this house that I would maybe actually kind of listen to what I have to say. So I would put Jared up. Mm, I don't see Jared as a realistic option for him putting somebody up. I, I, I would be... If, someone, if you spoke to me that way, Eric, you'd be on that block. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, but I think that Raul loses a lot in translation. You know, I, like, I don't think he processes stuff well. But I don't even care about the words that came out of Jared's mouth, even just the body language. Like I feel like Oh no, I agree, but I think it's all that Raul feels he has in this game. Yeah, well I mean I would probably go with a brother. I mean, the brothers were a good pick for him. Like that was actually like kind of like a solid thought process in his brain. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand his thing about Cass, because him and Cass seemed to have gotten along when Kelsey was out of the house. But oh. so, like, maybe Brothers and Tim? Like, I don't know. Or, I mean, even Brothers and Joel, because no one's going to vote out Joel, and he could say, you put me up, so I'm putting you up, tit for tat. Mm -hmm. And Joel would be fine. So, I don't... I just... Yeah. Anybody else. Anybody else. The Brothers don't... Maddie. The Brothers don't split. I'm going to... The Brothers don't split. I have been promised and it's been confirmed by the, the senior producers that they're not splitting they are going to be one vote until the end of the game they're not going anywhere you think i think i don't know if i believe if, that if if they were splitting we wouldn't be told in uncertain terms at the shows that they are not splitting she would dance around it and be like oh i don't know we don't oh, i don't i don't know these things like when Sue knows, like, I've been to enough of these now to know that when Sue knows something that she doesn't want to tell you, she acts one way. But when she knows something and she knows something and she's telling you the truth, she acts a different way. Are we supposed to know who Sue is? <laughs> Sue Profi is the senior um, supervising oh, okay. Got it. And uh, so, 
like I kind of know her enough now to know that when she says something in mm-hmm. certain ways that that you can take that to the bank and they're not splitting. All right. Why don't we do this, Dana? Because we're going to try and we're going to hopefully see if this works. XOXO Feedsters. You, as I have said several times on this show, um, are my little go-to on social media when I need a quick answer on the Twitter of what is happening on with those feeds. So if you want, jump in the guest queue and Dana and I will hopefully both be able to remain here (laughs) and see um, what you are thinking or what you have been hearing has been going down on the feeds for a quick little um, for a quick little segment. I think I have us all set up for it to work, so we're gonna see how that goes. Um, I think it's silly not for the brothers to split up. Me too. I think it is ridiculous if the brothers don't split up ridiculous okay all right here she is so let's say how this is gonna work i'm gonna remove this <gasps> oh okay let's let's see what happens boop 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 uh-oh we're too far over <laughs> all right hold on i'm gonna bring us okay oh hi hi how are you doing uh, oh i'm kind of mad <laughs> because have you been on your own show? Yes, I have. <laughs> this is me. Are you worried about our brothers? Always. No, I'm not worried about them because their strategy this week has been like to let raw like oh, I'm sorry, rail. 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 Pet them and like bed them, so they're fine, I guess. How, what is this I hear about um rail uh not rail, Mitch's um PO uh POV speech or he said something during the POV. Have you heard anything about this? Okay, so when Feed came back, I was at work today. Mm-hmm. Apparently I wrote it down here. Okay. Oh okay, he said that they were ca- that third will is cancerous and that they need to be extracted from the house. Oh. Which <laughs> obviously didn't go over well. So pretty much um not so much Braille, but Kelsey and Jared have been kind of whining all day as they do. Okay. About how I knew he was a friend, he's their friend. And you know, obviously these are Jared's nominations. Mm-hmm. Multiple people have said that today. Really? But we um, don't know. Yes. So that's kind of the general consensus is this is Jared's HOH. Rail just happened to win the competition. So he called him cancerous in his speech. I don't know what else he said. Apparently it was pretty ugly. And then um, there was an incident in the bathroom just at the ceremony. And Mitch, Mitch was kind of like washing his hands or something. And Jared came. Jared was there. He said something along the lines of, oh, are we still going to be friends after this, or am I too cancerous? And it was like, oh, well, cancer can be cured. And he said, well, yeah, so can rats. And everybody was kind of like, <laughs> called him, but In- I'm team Mitch on this one. I, no. Well, we're team Mitch, we're team brothers, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, Dana's not ignoring you. Um, she can't hear anything. She can't hear anything. Um, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to work that out on the next one. Uh, <laughs> so is there any other little bits that you feel we need to know that have happened since you know the feeds have come back on only like pretty much less than 12 hours or so ago? Not too much. Um, Mitch had a conversation with Nikki last night, mm-hmm. kind of talking about his campaign plan and that he was going to wait until a POV wasn't used today. It was obvious that it wasn't going to happen for him. Mm-hmm. So I think his plan at this point, and he's been feeding all of this information to Nikki in the hopes that she can campaign to Tim for him. Right. Interesting. Will it work? I don't know. I, As of a few, like probably an hour ago. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting you. No, this is you. This is all. You. I apologize that Dana can't hear you. Um, uh, no. What did you say? I'm sorry. His plan, as of an hour ago, is 
to rally the entire house, have a house meeting minus Joel in the third wheel. Literally isn't that many people. Twitter got really excited. And basically sell the third wheel out to all of them. But And then he's going to go strictly to the brothers. Well, but then wouldn't Jared get all roid ragey and Hulk smash his way into the room? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it'll actually happen. Yeah, I don't think that so That was his plan. All right. I don't think it's possible. Well, look, here is what is going to be possible. Um, I have been saying this so long. People need to follow you on Twitter for the BB Can feed updates because you are funny. You are informative. I get a lot of my um, updates from you. Tell the people where they can find you on Twitter. Um, it's XOXO Feedsters on Twitter. Mm hmm. I don't do strict updates. No, she doesn't. Like comedic recaps. Right. They're just <laughs> funny. It. They're always there when I seem to need them is the point. And I like the people that I like. And I like XOXO Feedsters. I am going to put a link to uh, your Twitter below this show. And hopefully... Um, when I'm going to figure out how to get Dana audio when we bring a guest in this way. <laughs> and then maybe we can do this again next Monday if you want, and we can do it for longer when Dana can hear. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you. Oh, wait. Do you want people to know what your name is? Or do oh, you it's Allison. Oh, no, I know what it is. I didn't know if you wanted people to know what it is. Okay, thank <laughs> you, Allison. That's my daughter's name. Oh, my God. Bye. Bye. Okay, that was lovely. I think, Dana, we need to make that um, a new... We can have, like, a little check-in with Allison on uh, the spoiler show. I didn't want to unmute my you now because I didn't want it to echo through my mic. Oh, you're smart. That's what I texted you. See, Allison, I know you're watching for the first, like, one minute. I really didn't know what you were saying people that watch the show know I was just doing the nodding my head thing to what you're saying because Dana was like I don't have audio I don't have audio and I'm over here like uh huh Allison yes this is the first time <laughs> this is the first introduction it's very important but I'm trying to text Dana and go I don't know why your audio is not working maybe you should try playing it through the show uh, <laughs> and you were very smart Dana because <laughs> <laughs> I know if I hit the unmute button you'd be like turn it off uh, that would have been funny but yes seriously thank you XOXO Feedsters um, we hope that you will come back on next monday dana and i will obviously test this play it on my tablet or something and then no like, it'll work i just gotta figure out i just gotta figure out the correct way to patch we've done it before i just haven't done it in a while time eric is with two girls no it's not we've i mean eric and i have interviewed girls together so we did a show with liza um, oh my gosh, we are doing a show April 25th. Mark your calendars, book the time off work. We are doing a show Monday night with June from Big Brother 4. I am like, this is my, I can die happy. That's April 26th, correct. April 26th, I can die happy. You mean 25th? No, on the 26th, I can Oh, die happy. so on the 26th, you're, let's not confuse people with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, June will be here two Mondays from now, right? It is two, three Mondays from now. Yes, 21 days. Yes, three weeks. Yeah, three weeks from now, June will be here, and June ain't gonna hold back. I know, I'm so excited. There's no contracts. We don't have to deal with anything. Oh, my God. I wouldn't go that far. But it's I not us know. saying it. <laughs> So get all of your questions ready. Yeah, it's kind of why we decided to do like a Monday uh, spoiler show. And it is why you should become a fan. Because aside from the having the Big Brother people on, now we also, um, we also have the new schedule, which I will say... Um, I kind of... No, it's basically the same. So this will be the schedule for next month, except Mondays we're going to do the BB Canada show. And uh, tomorrow, Tuesdays will be Drag Race, Wednesdays will be Survivor, Thursdays will be um, a Bravo or maybe a fan show, and then we'll have the Big Brother Canada people back on. And obviously One Direction as well. So become a fan or... 
you don't get a chance to watch One Direction and ask them your questions. <laughs> Um, when is Daily in Love? June is awesome. Yeah. J- having June on will seriously be amazing. Oh, chat room. Let me ask you this, Dana, and I will ask you too. Oh, we have robot? Okay, we'll restart. It's probably because they dumped a thousand people in our room. Okay, stay there. We will come back. Everyone, don't move. <laughs> we'll be right back. Um... But we're still going for the YouTube people. Dana, the question is... Oh, well, I'll tell you, Dana. They dumped a thousand people in a room. Anytime I just go off and I go crazy and just start promoting and saying stupid stuff, it's because they dumped a million people in our room and I'm trying to get them to fan. <laughs> um, continue broadcast. Yes. And fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Uh-oh, what's happening? That one didn't work, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe it's not selected the camera. Hold on. Wirecast. I appreciate it. Wirecast. Done. And let me try refreshing. Fingers crossed. Come on, bring us back. Yes, Yes! it's back. I think we're back. Are we back? Did I fix it? We didn't lose anybody. Oh, there we are. Back. Boom. I'm the best at this. I know how to fix it. Okay, chat room. Uh, If you're having trouble, just refresh your page now. Um, shut up, Giselle. And she blames everything on Wi-Fi. Here's my question for you guys on the chat room. And Dana, tell me what you would like also. If we have the choice between Dallas for Friday or La Vida, who oh, would cool. you all like first? I mean, we'll have them both, but we'll have one first. So if we bring on one of them to recap with us on Friday, who would it be? Now, I don't want to tip the scales, but I plan on yelling at Levita and telling Dallas that his balls smell. So, <laughs> um, I don't know if that helps you or hurts you, but I'm yelling at one person and I'm telling another one that got smelly balls. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard question, Eric. Chat room wants Levita. Donna T wants Levita. Steffi, Sherry Blackberry, Sword Owner Shady. I'm going to talk to both so bad. Well, we're going to talk to both. I'm just saying, who do it's we Levita, want? Levita, I guess. I think Levita. I think. Because we're not going to get anybody for jury. Once they all start going into jury, we're not going to be able... Oh, we like, we'll... on getting Paige, too. we got to get Paige. A Paige fell off the... She's back. I've seen her tweet a few times, so she's she's slowly coming back in. XOXO Feedsters, whose vote heavily counts, says Levita first. <laughs> um, Shelly T... Again, it is not either or. We will have them both, right, probably within less than a week's time. Maybe whoever we have come on on Friday will have the other one come on Monday to do the spoiler show. They can't do the spoiler show, though. They can talk about what's on the feeds. Why not? It's not like we're spoiling, spoiling. We're just talking about what's on the feeds. Right. We'll ask. Yeah, we'll It'll ask. happen. That's better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. It'll happen. I'm very convincing. Um, greetings from the UK. Well, thanks, UK. Love first, Dallas after. I kind of agree because yeah. look, let's role play, Dana. I'm gonna okay, everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna help influence all of you. Okay, so Dana, first, I am going to be Levita. Okay. You go ahead. No, yes. Damn it, I wish I had what I wanted, but you go ahead and you ask me a question about the game and I'm being Levita and go. Oh. What do you want to ask Levita? Just ask anyone. This isn't a hard question. <laughs> I have to think of my questions in advance. This is hard for me. Um, what is it about Joel that drew you to him? <clears throat> well, you see, Joel... Joel no, does not know strategy, and I am able to go ahead, and I am able to manipulate his game well, and therefore I can control his vote, so I like him because I am controlling his vote. Hold on, I have to change my hat. And now, that is what I am saying. That's how she changes her hats. All right, that wasn't really good. I was just killing time to do Dallas. Now that's yeah. what did that's... Dallas's ball stink. Levita, did Dallas's ball stink? Uh, yes, they did. But <laughs> no, now I'm Dallas. Now you have to ask me a Dallas question. Go. Oh, 
Why did you? Duh! Are you talking? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Why did you always have to walk around in your underwear? <laughs> yes. I can't do that fart thing. <laughs> Uh, Don't forget scratching his stomach and yeah. Oh god, Dallas, Dally. <laughs> so anyway, I'm saying I think Levita would be better for the weekly recap show. I think if we get Dallas on Friday, you should do the show in a speedo and a and a wife beater. Please. You're making the case for Levita. <laughs> Oh no, guys! Chat room. Um, Eric in a speedo uh, the chat and a wife beater. What do you think? Look, I saw the chat room was overwhelmingly for Levita first. Until they, until I put up the ante with you in a wife beater and a speedo. Come on. First of all, I'm always in a speedo. You just don't see it. <laughs> hmm. We really need to figure out how to make a poll. Oh, we'll do it as a Twitter poll. Yeah. How about that? Oh, yeah. I will tweet it right now because I'll say I'll tweet it later and I'll forget. So I'm going to do this. Ready? I'm just going to put secret poll because we're just gonna, we don't we don't want outside influence. So this is just for people that are watching this show. I'm just going to make the tweet say secret poll, and then I'm going to make the answers Dallas or Levita <laughs> and tweet. There you go. You can now vote. And then they have the right to say no. <laughs> but we'll try. Eric pulling an Arissa wearing your YRR winner. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. So what did, I mean, is there anything else, Dana? Was there anything from last night's show, you know, other than, or anything that we've learned from XOX of Feedsters from the feeds that, uh, you know, you want to talk about from the last 24 hours. What? Sorry, I just got a funny tweet. <laughs> Which says? Oh, hold on. I'll, I'll forward it to you. The recap show is cool. Yeah. Ugh. You now is messed up today. Sorry. Before I vote, will you scratch and sniff for us? No, Sherry Blackberry. I'm not <laughs> scratching and sniffing anything. Newsflash. I'm not wearing a Speedo. I would, I'll tell you I'm wearing a Speedo if it makes you all feel better. But if you think I am standing up and putting my crotch in a Speedo on camera <laughs> in 2016, when there is enough people that hate us and what we do... You're wrong. Okay. I'll, I'll wear a wife beater. Check I'll wear a wife beater. Check my mentions. You gotta put this up on the screen because it's from Leslie. It's kind of funny. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I do like this. Now, Leslie, did you submit this on our behalf? <laughs> okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. It's a little racist. <laughs> okay. So Leslie <laughs> says. Mexican word of the day, cheese. I feel that cheese not trustworthy. Oh. I can't do it in accent. That's racist. <laughs> I'm dead. But that oh is. Oh my gosh! You need to do that, Leslie. Go to that website and get like whatever picture they have of a rule up there and put that up there. Oh, Leslie, you have to go do that and then make sure you do it as at reality recaps. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to do it in the accent. That was too far, but funny. <laughs> I'm dead but now. But funny. Oh. Oh my god, that is the best Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, this is why, just between us, this is why I secretly like that we don't work with the U.S. Big Brother. Because if it was the U.S. Big Brother, I would just, you know, I wouldn't have to hold back at all. But I'm trying to play nice so that I can get you guys all the stuff that you want. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have been like, hey, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> we'll never do that again. You like the cheese essay? No. Eric, stop. Okay. <laughs> Andale. <laughs> What's that little mouse's name that runs around? Oh. With the hat. Mighty or not Mighty Mouse? Um, 
the one from Warner Brothers. I don't know, whatever. There's no point. Um, Speedy Gonzalez. There, there you go. go. Thank you, sword owner. What did he always used to say? Like, underlay, underlay. Yeah, underlay, underlay. Yeah, that's who I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> now I want guacamole. Oh, also probably God. racist. I was at the mall, and it took all my effort to not go to Taco Bell. Uh, oh, I'm over Taco Bell. Uh, Gian Sue says, XOXO said something about punishments, Tim, and oh, someone. yeah, I maybe um i was watching the feeds for like a hot second today and they went down and then they came back up and joel was in like a a bodysuit with a cape and apparently cassandra has to watch herself on the big screen xoxo <laughs> feedster says Bro- the brothers and tim have to stay up all night uh well we knew that didn't we know that depending on how they fell out of that Zeus thing, that they were all getting punishments? I thought that's what they said at the start of that HOH comp. I thought they said, like, as that they get punishments as they fall, but maybe we just didn't see them. Joel is backwards, man. Yeah, the cape is on the front of him. He can only walk backwards, and... Oh, it was funny. Oh, I was hoping it was going to make him attractive and funny. I, put, I have a picture of Joel in the, the... I gave you a picture of Joel in the outfit. Oh, you did. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I was waiting for my punchline. Oh, there. because of the complaint box. Finally, that complaint box is... Uh, you gave me a picture of Joel in the outfit. It's like Joel and Cassandra. They're in the living room. Joel and Cassandra in the living room. You put it in the cast-free preview folder. Yeah. There is something seriously wrong with me that I don't have it. I don't know why. Something is wrong with my Google Drive. I don't have it. I have it! <laughs> I'm a liar! I have it. Here we go. Okay, so this is Joel as Backwards Man. Which it is ridiculous. Boop. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of nice. Like, if they were going to force, you know, I think as a guy, if they were forcing you to wear a Speedo in the house, you would probably want a cape covering your bits. So. Unless you're Dallas, then you'd be like, just give me the Speedo. Like <laughs> Nick and Phil had a late night flex off. XOXO feed stars, after this show, I'm giving you my cell phone number, and you have a new job. And it's when things that are happening, like Phil and Nick having flex-offs that someone is supposed to tell me! <laughs> yeah, you made him angry. We just got him calm down, Allison. Okay, no screenshots. I just, just, just bring the people. Let us ask the questions. Do the recap shows. Watch the shows. Live feed updates. But when Nick and Phil are naked, nobody tells me! <laughs> I am not going to do those backyard live streaming. Yeah, you are. I hope so. Your reality recaps.com. Com slash Canada. If slash everybody donated Canada. a dollar, we would probably be able to get there. We could stop talking about it by now if everybody donated yeah. a dollar. It's pretty true. It's even annoying for me to keep saying. It's even annoying for me to keep saying. <laughs> but go there if you want us to live stream the backyard uh, interviews and red carpet. And I feel like there's more. I feel like I'm forgetting more. Like, we'll be on the stage the night of. We'll have a lot of stuff that we'll be able to share with you guys. <laughs> I gave you money to bring me a brother. You will go and you will like it. <laughs> Trust me, XOXO feedsters. Oh, are I... you XOXO, Allison? Yes, we've that already established me. that. Well, I couldn't hear her, remember? Oh, durr. Um, yeah. I have a feeling <laughs> you'll be getting something from the brothers. <gasps> You all should give us a mission. Like, if we get into the house, you have to give us a mission what we should try and get. Like, I'll try and steal Marsha out of the... Could you imagine if we could, like, smuggle Marsha out of the have not real? People I'm pretty sure we could go buy that disgusting moose from, like, the old Wait, ratchet... have you know? Did you notice? I don't know if any of you guys saw it, but after the show last week when we were talking about the evolution of Marsha, I, I actually spent time, Eric, and found, like pictures of Marsha through the years her antlers change every year you did yeah she got this 
like progressively like more draggy as the years. Yes, went on. I believe my reply to you was I originally had said that she apparently became gay um this year based on how glittery sh glittery she was and then you showed me the evolution which i am trying to find that tweet <laughs> and i found it here okay so this is the evolution of the moose um which you should all hate tweet by the way because we don't like this moose um so this is the evolution of the moose to which i retracted my statement and apparently the moose has always been gay or at least last year was more gay like, look at this shit. <laughs> this is some Liberace stuff going on. And then, you know, this year. This year it just looks like a drag queen that doesn't know what she's doing. But this one says, like, gay. This says, like, gay, hey, oh. And, but this one's like, hey, and gay. So I'm just saying. Moose <laughs> in the closet. Actually, moose in the trunk, Maximus, mom. They're keeping her in a, in, like, a trunk now. Seriously. Let oh, me say, yeah. before I forget, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for um, the gold bars during this show. I knew I was not um, saying it when you guys were doing it, but thank you for the gold bars. Zivion for being the number, or Zynvon for being the number one fan. Olivia Sunday for being number two. For being number three, Miss Wendy number four, and Invisible Kate number five fan. And we love all of you for all the thumbs ups that you give. Over 5,000 on this show. Thank you. Thank you, Amber, for the bars. Get Rails jacket. Yeah. What? The Get Rails jacket. That was. Yeah. Oh, and Marinara died. And that is true. That was the other thing that I meant to say is yes, apparently, while well, the feeds were gone. Marinara is dead. Marinara bit the dust. It's gone. Dead. But if it makes you feel any better, you can send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I will send you a spider <laughs> in return. <laughs> we should probably hold a funeral for Marinara next Monday. Maybe this weekend. Maybe. Yeah, or maybe on Friday with um, whoever we have, because, I mean, they were probably very close to Marinara. And Let me ask you a question. Everybody knows when we have the people on, like, I try and get them to sign stuff so that we can do giveaways. Too far if I ask Levita if she wants some extensions? Were those from Shelly? Well, sure, but I mean, maybe they'll work on Levita, too. Oh, my gosh. Because um, you ruined the game, Levita. I was going to interview Levita. I was going to do it because it was a Monday and it wasn't going to be so crazy for me. And then when I found out that it was Levita, I said, oh, Dana, I think you should do it. Because <laughs> here's oh, the way the interview would have went. Here's the way it would have been. Hey, Levita, what do you have against entertaining television and good gameplay? That's my first question. Hey, Levita, fan question. Die. Oh, that wasn't a question. Just a statement. Third point. Hey, Levita... Thanks for outing the only person who's playing the game successfully. Jealous? I'm out of questions. Come on our show. Oh, cool. This is why I do the questions, people. Please. No. I think she should sign a beanie, not hair. That's mean, Eric. Mean. I'm not going to make her sign hair. I got some ducks we can give away. What do we give away from Big Brother Canada? Syrup? <laughs> maple syrup is that we give away I'm pretty sure Kelsey believes Joel Mitch and the brothers a lot oh I'm pretty sure Kelsey believes the Joel Mitch brothers alliance Kool-Aid oh got it got it right 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 I okay. for a second thought you were saying they were Called to give away Kool-Aid or to call I'm losing it who what does Paul when he loses his car Carlos <laughs> <laughs> That was there some... we go, trash bag baby. That was some trash bag baby. Thanks, trash bag baby. That was a good one. You can also follow trash bag baby on Twitter. <laughs> you need to go to that meme thing and go and uh, write some up there. Oh, I'm sure they will. Um, on. She needs you to focus. Le who? 
Shelly. She's like, Eric, focus. Focus on what, Shelly? This show was over 10 minutes ago. We are in bonus time. <laughs> um, Leslie E. says, on the feeds now, Kelsey to Jerry, matted and matted. Maddie and Ramsey are idiots. I don't know why we ever decided that was a good idea. Well, I don't know. But you know what I do? I never thought Maddie and Ramsey together were a good idea. No, I didn't either. I was always anti that. Mad. I was anti anything Ramsey because he's a crier and I don't appreciate it. Apparently, um, Tim and Cass almost made out. Oh, wait, hold on one second. XOXO Feedsters, you were not a bad, you were not a bad updater. I was a horrible host. I did not have enough time to test it before. Thus, it all crumbled and it is my fault. Please do not think. I promise you, come back next Monday and that whole segment will go much differently. That is all my bad. Unfortunately, the webcam could not run everything on its own this week. I tried and it failed. <laughs> That's a joke from someone that tells, tells me we only need a webcam to do these shows, Dana. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I don't bother you with such things. Um, Eric, will you please eat a spider live on air? It's like she doesn't even know me. Yeah. Have you met Eric? Because the answer is yes. No, it's no. It's no. But I love cake batter. Yes. Okay, wait. We're getting too much into the chat room. Let me end the show right now for the people that are going to want to watch this back without us talking so much to the chat room. So don't go anywhere, you now, chat room. Everybody else, if you're like, what the hell are you talking about? Watch us do our shows live every weeknight on um, at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, at younow.com slash reality recaps. Go there. Become a fan. We are covering reality TV shows seven nights, a w- I mean, five nights a week, and then fan shows on the weekend. Um, iTunes, fast to rating a nice review, YouTube, click on the buttons, you know the deal. And again, lastly, your outerrecaps.com slash Canada. Any donation of any amount will help us get to the um, backyard to live stream the interviews, take your questions, giveaways, red carpet, tons of stuff. We'll get to stream for you guys over three days. I don't think we're explaining enough that it's going to be three days of live streaming. I feel like we're only making it seem like it's one night it's going to be three days of stuff everyone yeah if i just had an assistant we could do this better but it's just us hey you're not an assistant you're across the country okay in another country i try okay okay everybody we love you uh i'll be back tomorrow covering rupaul's drag race i'll be live tweeting rupaul's drag race in a little bit and i will see you guys all then bye